you is for wisdom. It belongs to the age and understanding to the old. Never forsake wisdom. Love her and she will protect you. Wisdom brings us harmony with ourselves, giving us a sense of self-worth and inner peace. This inner peace is achieved because we are acting with our conscience, avoiding the shame and guilt of following our baser instincts. I is for inspiration. That supernatural influence exerted from God's own spirit into the hearts and minds of those not only who wrote Holy Scripture, but those who faithfully serve Him today. His spirit-inspired breathing into our inner beings enables us to grasp how wide, long, high, and deep is the love of Christ, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Ephesians 3 verse 19. Now that's inspiration. D is for dreams, the domain of experience where the Spirit of God freely access and declares. Your old world dreams dreams, and when they do, God himself freely communes his special world to them by his divine favor. <coughs> Holy Scripture declares that the influence of the Spirit of God upon the soul extends to its sleeping, as well as its waking thoughts. O is for oil, oil of anointing, all the anointing with perfumed oils from an alabaster jar. She wet the feet of her Savior with her tears, then wiping them with her hair, kissed them with affectionate tenderness, pouring her perfume on them. Again and again she kissed his feet, declaring her reverence in subjection and supplication, the emblem of her love to the very author of her love. W is for widows. Oh, how precious the widow was to him, and only to be treated with respect and kindness. The widow who is really in need and left all alone puts her hope in God and continues night and day to pray and to ask God for help. No advantage must be taken of any widow. If that happens, I will certainly hear her name. S is for sanctification, the carrying on to perfection, the work begun in salvation, like the soap that washes us when we are set apart for him. That soap that only never runs out, but nothing ever unclean is able to resist its cleansing power no matter how dirty we become. Amen. Amen.